Hello, sports fans and college football fans out there. I got a college football game for you today. Another one. I guess you might have thought I forgot after the uh, Texas-Alabama game that I played. But no, I did not forget. We're going to do another one. And today we're going to have Ohio State um, hosting Notre Dame. And I will take... Ohio State. So let's launch the game. And I, you know what? I'm going to receive the kickoff. I'm not going to defer it. Uh, over here, you can see the um, uh, the play counter, you know, the type of play or something. I'm not sure what that is. And then over here is what the players are doing currently. And there is a flag on the kickoff. So let's see what that is. Okay, I guess um, there were, the penalty might have been on us because they got the kick again. And I'm going to try to run with the ball. I mean, this is Ohio State. Oh, my God, we got hemmed up at the 14. That's not good starting position. All right, and so you can see over here, this is like, this is the guy that returned the kick. He has one kickoff return. Um... Uh, and zero touchdowns or whatever, touchback. Um, and he has one return for 13 yards. So I'm going to go over the Ohio State offense. We have a wide receiver, um, Julian Fleming. And we have the split end, Amika Egbuka. At left tackle, we've got Paris Johnson Jr. At left guard, we've got Matthew Jones. At center, we have Luke Weipler. At right guard, we have Donovan Jackson. Right tackle, we got Daw and Jones. And the tight end is Cade Stover. Marvin Harrison Jr. is out at flanker, of course. The quarterback is C.J. Stroud, who is actually now on the Houston Texans. And the halfback is Mayan Williams. So with this in mind, I'm going to try a long pass right out of the right out of the gate, and we're going to go long to Harrison Jr. and let's see if that works. And he's launching it in the right direction, and it is a completed pass. I don't even do that. I usually don't start off with a long pass, but. That was a good uh, good play call by me right there. We're going to have a first down. So we have a first and 10 at our 43. I'm going to try a flat pass to the tight end Stover. And he catches it for a first down and some more. This Notre Dame defense, we're carving it up early. We're carving it up quick. So, um, let's see here. What are we going to do? <laughs> you know what? I'm going to go line buck with Williams. Let's try that. They're probably geared up for the uh, pass. And Williams gets some yards. Nice. Um, he didn't get a first down, but he's close. So, we have a second and three now at the Notre Dame 36. Um... I'm going to go off tackle with Williams. And he gets stopped quickly. Maybe he got a yard there, and maybe not even. Let's move these up a little if we can. Or down, as, as it may be. So anyway, um, we've got a... Second and three, no. We've got a third and two. Third and two to go. I'm going to do a line buck with Williams. And he gets the first down, and he's chugging away! And he got a lot more than that. All right, let's... This is not working where I'm putting this.
maybe put it up here. 17, that was a 17-yard run. And as you can see, Williams so far today has three runs for uh, 25 yards and zero touchdowns. And we will, um, let's see, first and 10 at the Notre Dame 18. I'm going to go with a short pass to the flanker, Harrison. We're just carving Notre Dame up, man. We are, and we continue to do that. So he got uh, a respectable 14 yards on that. And um, you can see today Stroud is 3 for 3 for 57 yards. Um, hmm. Let's go uh, look in. No, we can't throw a look in pass too close. Um, we're going to go short to the tight end, Stover. And it's intercepted. Come on. C.J. Stroud picked off in the back of the end zone. All right, we're going to defense now. Uh, I'm going to look for the pass. And they run it. And we can't even stop them. They got 11 yards on that. Yeah, that's a healthy 11 yards, I'll say. All right, they Notre Dame has a first and 10 at their 31. I am going to. I'm looking for the pass again. And they are this time. They did an outlet pass to the running back. But uh, we still weren't able to stop him until he got five yards. So let's go, let's look for the run. And they do run it, and we do stop them before the first down. So let's see if we can shut this thing down. They got three yards, they have a third and two. I'm going to go, I'm going to put in the balanced. Defense, and there is a penalty on the play, probably on them. I'm going to guess because they didn't let him keep playing. So, yeah, now they got a third and seven. So now we're going to look for the pass. And they completed it for more than a first down. They got more than they needed. Now they're moving on us. 13 yards. I'm going to look for the run. And they do run, and we don't stop them until they get like six or seven yards. Six. All right. Uh, second and four, we're going to look for the run. And they do run, and we don't stop them until they get a first down. I didn't really, I got to admit, I did not think that, I, I did not expect the Ohio State defense to be this bad. All right, we're going to go, we're going to look for the pass on first down. And they run the ball, but this time we stop them. We were looking for something different, and we shut down what they did. So they only got uh, one yard there. I'm going to look for the pass again. And this time they are passing. And we do stop them. This time there was somebody right on them. And oh, by the way, I guess we should go over the uh, Michigan or the uh, Notre Dame offense and our defense. On offense, they have at flanker Lorenzo Styles. The tight end is Michael Meyer. The right tackle is Blake Fisher. Right guard is Josh Lug. Center is Zeke Carell. The left guard is Jarrett Patterson. Left tackle is Joe Alt. The second tight end is Mitchell Evans in this alignment. The split end is Jaden Thomas. The quarterback is Drew Payne. And the uh, running back is Audric Esteem. On defense, we have left tackle Zach Harrison. Left tackle um, Teron Vincent. Right tackle Ty Hamilton. 
Right tackle J.T. Tumalau. Left linebacker Tanner McAllister. Middle linebacker Tommy Eichenberg. Right linebacker Steel Chambers. Cornerback Denzel Burke. Strong safety is Lathan Ransom. Free safety is Ronnie Hickman. And the right cornerback is Cameron Brown. So they have a third and four coming up here. I am going I'm going to put in the balance. I don't know really if the balance is really a good but they do stop. We stop them. Hopefully they will punt. They got three of the four yards they needed. And they are going to punt. So we'll put in um Oh, they're gonna they're oh yeah, that's right, they're gonna kick a field goal. All right, we'll put in kick defense. Hopefully they don't make this. This is a long field goal, but it looks like they're gonna make it. And they do. Didn't know where we were in the field there, but um, yeah, they're ahead three nothing. All right, well we gotta get going. We gotta move it down the field just like we did last time. I'm gonna try to uh, I'm gonna try to run with the ball. I mean, this is Ohio State. Come on. And again, we get this time we got one more yard than we got the first time. We got to the seven. We got to the 15 yard line. So first and ten at the 15. I am gonna go short to medium pass to the flanker. And that's good for a first down. I mean, we can move the ball. We should have had a touchdown the last time, but he threw an interception in the back of the end zone. Stroud did. Uh, first and 10 at the 28. I'm going to go end run with the halfback, Williams. And he cuts right through the guy, and he is gone. I'm going to... No, he's not. Here comes the linebacker with speed from hell. And he gets him. So, <laughs> But, um, yeah, that was crazy. It was a big gain, though. We got a first and 10 at the Notre Dame 29. Let's try off tackle with Williams, who is probably tired right now, but not tired enough to almost get the first down. He got like eight or nine yards on that, eight yards. So we're going to try, can I do a look in here? Yes, I can do a look in to the split end. We're going to do a look in pass to the split end. And he catches the ball and he gets some good yards too. So now we're right back down where we were before. And we have a first and goal. From the Notre Dame nine. Let's try a short. This time let's hope he completes it. Uh, we're going to go short to Ebuke. And he catches it for a touchdown. And Notre Dame is going to take. Or Ohio State is going to take the lead on Notre Dame here. Nice pass by Stroud. And uh, as you can see now Stroud today is 6 of 7 for 91 yards. One touchdown, one interception. And Ibuke, Egbuka has two receptions for 21 yards and a touchdown. We're going to try the extra point. No, we're not going to fake it. We're just going to do the extra point. And we're going to take the good 7-3 lead on the Fighting Irish. And we will kick off. Up 7-3, 325 left. In the first quarter, we are still in the first quarter. All of that transpired during the first quarter. Um, some mistakes by Notre Dame would be welcome here. I'm just saying. Uh, I'm going to try a. I'm going to put in the run defense. No, he's passing. Dang it! And it's incomplete. Nice. You know what? I think he's going to try to follow that up with a run. Try to get some yards. So we're going to put in the run. No, he's passing again. He smoked me again on the call. But it's still incomplete. Unbelievable. All right, well, now we are definitely looking for the pass. Um, yeah, let's put in the pass. 
And now he runs. But we stop him just before the first down. He should punt. And this time, I am sure he is on the side of the field where he would definitely punt. And we are going to put in the punt return. So he decided to wait until he had a third and ten and then run the ball. That's crazy. And we are going to try to return this too. And he doesn't go anywhere. Our returners are terrible. I, I, I did not know Ohio State had this terrible uh, punt and kick return team. But let's go looking past to the halfback Williams. And he catches it. Nice. Nice play. Strong. I got to tell you, Stroud is having a game of his life here. Let's see what he's doing. Let's just check in and see what he's doing down with our sideline reporter. He's uh, 7 of 8, 102 yards, a touchdown, and an interception. All right, um, we're going to go line buck with Williams. Williams is getting, I mean, the dude, is, we're working the dog crap out of him right here, but that's what we got to do. I mean, that's just what we got to do. So we got a second and three. He got seven yards on that. Um, you know what? Let's put in another guy. Let's put in... Um, Dallas Hayden. Let's put Dallas Hayden in. And then let's go line buck with Hayden. Just to give the dude a rest. And Hayden is taken off! They probably saw me make that change and then said, well, he's not going to, he's clearly not going to run the ball now. But no, Hayden gets 16 yards. And, uh, you know, let's stay with, well, we're not going to. Let's go long pass. I'm going to go long to Harrison Jr. Let's see if we can score a touchdown right now. And we can't. <laughs> we can't, but he did complete the pass. So he hit Harrison Jr. for 32 yards. And we got a first and goal at the 7. Um, okay, Trayvon Henderson's in, so we're going to go line buck with Henderson. And Henderson's going to score a touchdown! Well, it looks like maybe that early interception... By uh, He's got one run for seven yards and a touchdown. That's a good day. Looks like that early interception that C.J. Stroud threw may not hurt us. So let's kick the extra point and hope that we can nail that. And then it's 14-3 and we're kicking off to Notre Dame. Now for those of you that don't know my history with my college football allegiances, I love no I love Ohio State. I love the Big Ten Conference. I'm a big, big Ten guy. I'm a big, big Ten guy. And I hate Notre Dame. Hate them mainly because they had their own TV contract with NBC. They were at one time, and I don't know if this is still the case, but at one time they were the only college football team that had a contract with Notre Dame or with the NBC. And, uh, you know, I'm like, no. But anyway, we're going we're gonna to put in the pass. No, let's put in the balance. Let's start off with the balance defense. And he is going to pass it, and we stop him pretty quickly. I mean, I like that. That was quick enough for me. Uh, it was a screen pass, and they got two yards on it. So they have a third, or uh, a second and a second and eight. Second and eight. I'm going to look for the run. I'm going to say they're going to run the ball, and they do. And we do stop them really quickly. I don't think he got anything on that. He got one yard. So that was nice. This is the Ohio State defense I thought I had. It's going to be third and seven. We are looking for the pass. And he is going to pass. And that's incomplete at best. And it looks like that's what it was. And he will be punting to us again. And it looks like we can do whatever we want at will. We're going to do the punt return. 
But it looks like we can do whatever we want against his defense. I mean, Stroud threw the interception in the back of the end zone on the first possession, but we moved right down the field on him. I guess we didn't feel like we were going to try try to return that, so we're going to have the ball first and ten at our own nine after a 51-yard punt by Notre Dame's punter. Um, but let's go end run with Henderson. And he gets caught in the backfield, loses yards, loses a yard. All right, we're going to go right to the short then. We're going to go short to Fleming. Oh, it's incomplete. Stroud misses the guy. That is so unlike Stroud right now in this game. He is 8 of 10 for 134 yards, a touchdown, and an interception. We're going to go short pass to uh, Harrison, now to Egbuka. Yeah, we'll try it to Egbuka. Oh, he got sacked! My God, that guy came in off the edge. We didn't pick him up. Six-yard loss on the sack. We're going to have to punt. This is the first time that we have to punt. We did turn the ball over on an interception on the first play of the game, but we haven't had to um, uh, we haven't had to turn the ball over on, on a punt until just now. And he's going to return it for probably a touchdown. No. <laughs> no, he doesn't. It was a 45-yard punt with a 20-yard return, though. So he is going to have a first and 10 at our 27. So he is all, he's immediately in field goal range. And uh, we looked for the run, but that didn't seem to matter. Well, it, I mean, I, I guess it did. He got three yards. So he's got a second and seven. I am going to look for the uh, run. I'm going to look for the run again. And no, he's passing. Maybe he can incomplete it? No, he can't. And we had to have some assistance from a linebacker to make that tackle. So, they have a first and goal at our 10. I'm going to look for the pass. And he runs it. And we do converge on him and stop him at 3. But they get 7 yards on that. Well, now we're definitely looking for the run. And he does run it, and we do stop him. And I don't think he got anything on that. He didn't. He got zero yards. So now they've got a third and goal. I am going to look for the balance. I'm going to put in the balanced. I don't know if that's going to help, and it doesn't. So he gets a touchdown, and he's going to make it 14-10. And I'm going to put in the kick block. And that is what the score is. It's 14 to 10. So there is uh, 8.52 left in the half. And we have to remember, we have to kick off to him. And I am going to try to run the ball. We have to kick off to him in the second half, so we need a score right here. This time, we got a pretty good return. It's out to the 29, it looks like. So we've got a first and 10 at our 29. Let's try a flat pass to the halfback, Henderson. And he catches it for some good yards. My goal here is to try to use up most of this half and try to get a touchdown. Uh, we've got a second and six. Let's go off tackle with Henderson. And he's going to get a first down and just a tad more. Let's try a look-in pass to the tight end, Stover. And he catches it for a first down and a little bit more. 
Love those yards after the catch, the yak. And we're getting it. So we've got a first and 10 at the Notre Dame 45 now. Let's go off tackle with Henderson. Now we're working Henderson like a dog, and he gets no yards. So we're going to have second and 10. I'm going to go flat pass to the, <coughs> to the wide receiver Fleming. Excuse me. And he does catch it, and he gets some yards. Seven yards on that, so we have a third and three coming up. I'm gonna go I'm gonna go with a draw play to Williams. And he's gonna get a first down and a little bit more. So he gets six yards. We only needed three. And we are first and ten at the Notre Dame thirty two. Let's go flat pass to Henderson. And he's going to get a nice gain over there. And I am passing to the halfbacks. You'll notice <laughs> I've been criticized in the past for not passing at all to the halfbacks, running backs. And that's a fair criticism because I never did. But um, we will... We're going to go line buck with Henderson. Let's keep it safe right here and use up some time. He gets about two yards, it looks like. Yes, he does. So we've got a third and four at the 26-yard line. I am going to try a look-in pass to Agbuka. And he gets the first down. Is there nothing that Stroud can't do? Well, with the Texans, he's... Actually, with the Texans, he is having a decent year for a rookie quarterback. But right here, he is 13 of 15 for 171 yards, a touchdown, and an interception. And Igbuka has three receptions for 29 yards and a touchdown. And we got a first and 10. At the Notre Dame 18, this is a nice time to try to throw it into the end zone. To Johnson. Get the short pass and it's incomplete. Again, you don't see that much from Stroud. There's 423 left in the half. Um, let's change Henderson out for. Um, let's get. Uh, oh, maybe the other guy is tired, that Williams dude. All right, let's try. Hayden. Let's get him in there. And then let's go line buck with Hayden. I don't want to wear everybody out here. That isn't the goal. And he gets some good yards, man. That was a second and ten and he got six of them. And we're eating the clock. So we've got a third and four. Um, you know what? I would hate to pass it and it's incomplete. I'm going to try a line buck with... There's Williams. I'm going to try a line buck with Williams. Hey, I don't think they were ready for that. And it's going to eat the clock. It gets the yardage. We have a first and goal at the Notre Dame 5. I am going to do a an off tackle with Henderson. And he gets a touchdown. Are you kidding me, man? Might have scored a little too quick there, too. But he does get the touchdown for five yards. And uh, we are going to kick the extra point. Not the fake extra point, but the extra point. And uh, that makes it 21-10. We've got a 21-10 lead on the Fighting Irish of Notre Dame. And we will kick off. And there's 234 left in the half. If we can force a mistake or a three and out or something quick, we might have a chance of getting another score. Did he just stop and just take the ball to three? No, no, they let it go through. All right, so it's going to be a first and 10 at the 25 for Notre Dame. 
I'm going to look for the pass. I mean, he's got to score quickly. Oh, he, he runs the ball, and he didn't even get that many yards considering I was looking for the pass. He got two yards on that. So Notre Dame has a second and eight at their 27. I am going to look for the pass. And he runs the ball again. This time it works, though, and it gets a lot of yards. I mean, he can run the ball all day if he wants, because I've got an 11-point lead on him. Um, I'm not going to call a timeout. Um, we're going to look for the. We're going to put in the balanced defense. And uh, he is headed for the sidelines, and he gets the first down. And uh, that pass went for 13 yards. So he's, it looks like, in our territory now. He's got a first and 10 at our 47. I'm going to look for the pass. And Payne is on the run. And he's going to get a lot of yards and get out of bounds, it looks like. We couldn't stop him from getting out of bounds and stopping the clock. So he gets five yards. And they've got a second and five. I'm going to look for the pass. And he runs it right up the middle. And I'll be even happier if he kicks a field goal here. Because I know we're going to kick off to him in the next half. But there's a minute seven left. First and ten at the 36. I'm looking for the pass. And he runs the ball again. This time we stop him after five or six. Six yards. He's got a second and four. This time I'm going to look for the run. And he does run the ball. And we're not going to get him before he can get out of... Oh, yes, we will. We do get him before he can get out of bounds. But he got a lot of yards. He got 13 yards on that run. Uh, first and 10 at our 17. 52 seconds left. I'm going to look for the pass. Uh, he runs the ball. But we do stop him. We stop him after no gain. One minus one yard. No, he gains a yard. He gained a yard? Holy crap. All right, second and nine at the 16. Uh, I'm going to look for the pass. And he is going to pass the ball. And we do stop him in the field of play. And that was a third and nine. So let's see if he kicks the field goal. Fourth and four. No, he's going for it. Nice. Oh, no. he's No, he isn't. He's, he is going to kick it. So let's put in the kick block. And it's 21-13. With only eight seconds left in the half, so really all we're going to be able to do is just receive the kickoff. Yeah, now there's only one second left. I mean, I could have called timeouts on all of those things. Uh, I'm just going to fair catch for the touchback because I didn't want to take a chance on anything bad happening, and then he gets another chance right there and... Oh, okay. Well, we do have one play. Let's go long. I mean, you know, we're going to go long to Egbuka. I, you know, the chances of scoring on it, even if he catches it, are probably slim to none, and it's incomplete anyway. So we're going to the second half with a 21-13 lead. And we will check the... Uh, let's check on the... Um, the box score so far. We'll move the uh, box score thing over here. Um, Payne is 11 of 7 for 57 yards. No touchdowns, no interceptions. Stroud is 
13 of 17 for 171 yards, a touchdown and an interception. We have uh, Notre Dame has Esteem with seven rushes for 32 yards, Diggs six rushes for 31, Tyree four rushes for 28, and Payne Pine one rush for five, and then Mitchell Evans one for one. We've got Mayan Williams eight rushes, 96 yards. Trevon Will or Trevon Henderson six rushes, 21 yards and two touchdowns. Dallas Hayden, two rushes for 22 yards, and Stroud, one for uh, negative six. So we're going to kick off to him. Again, even if he gets a touchdown and and an eight-point, con- uh, you know, a two-point conversion, he's only going to, at best, tie the game. But let's see if we can just take the ball away from him somehow. Uh, I'm going to start off looking for the run. He should be in a close enough game. He's not going to abandon his game plan, and he does run the ball. And we do stop him, but he gets seven yards. So they got a second and three. I'm going to look for the run again. And he does run it, and this time he gets we get him right at the first down marker. So they get the three yards for the first down. And it's going to be first and 10 for them at the Notre Dame 35. I'm going to look for the run again. They do run the ball, and we do get him quickly there. Maybe a yard? Yeah, no, yes, he gained a yard. So, second and nine, I'm going to look for the run again. And he does run the ball. And we do stop him relatively quickly, maybe two or three there. Three yards. And he has a third and six. I am going to look for the pass. I think that's the prudent thing to do, even though he could run the ball again. And he does pass it, and we just let him complete it. So... With... uh, 12.25 12.25 left in the third. They've got a first and 10 at our 43. I'm going to look for the run again. He passes the ball, and uh, and he gets massive yards on it. But I'm going to look for the run again. I think they got to go back to their run. No, they're passing, and it's incomplete. So now, I think I've got them red here. I'm going to, I'm going to look for the run, and I'm going to key on Diggs. And he's going to lose some massive yards because I, I called it. They lose eight yards on that running play. And they've got a third and 18 from the 33. And now I'm going to look. I'm going to put in the pass. And there's a penalty on the play. And it looks like it's probably on him. Third and 23. Yes, it was on him. So it's third and 23 at our 38. I'm going to look for the pass for sure. And he loses yards. Now now they can't even kick a field goal, I don't think. They could try, but they lost five yards on that. Fourth and 28, no, they're going to punt. So we're going to do the punt return. I didn't think they could try it from there. And he's going to do a coffin corner. Which is going to be pretty effective. I mean, we're going to have the ball at the 12, but we've been there before. So 13 to 21, we've got the lead 21 to 13 over uh, Notre Dame with 10:34 left. And now I am just going to run the ball a lot because um, we might as well just eat the clock. And he gets nine yards on that, despite the fact that I'm just sitting here trying to monge on the clock. Um, okay, Hayden. So yeah, we're going to go line buck with Hayden because this is a different guy. 
We're, we're, I like that we're shuffling fresh backs in there, and he gets the first down. Picked up two yards when we needed one. And we have a first and 10 at our 23. Going to go off tackle with Hayden. And there's a penalty on the play. I don't know who that's on. Maybe on us. But we'll see. We'll see in a minute here. Uh, we're going to accept the penalty for sure. So for, we now we've got a first and 10 at the 39. And I'm going to go off tackle with Hayden. He gets stopped immediately, but that's fine. Uh, now let's try a flat pass to the flanker, Harrison Jr. And he catches it, and he gets a good amount of yards there. He gets uh, seven yards on that. Third and two, let's go line buck with Williams. And he's going to get the first down and some more, and that's what we need. Just keep the ball moving down the field. Just matriculate the ball down the field. That's all we got to do. I mean, I realize that we uh, only have a, an eight-point lead, so he's within one score technically. But let's go line buck. With Hayden, the old Hayden line buck. And he's going to get a few yards. He got about three there, I think. Four. He got four. We're going to go se on second and six. We're going to go flat pass to Fleming. And he catches it, and he gets the first down, and that's going to give us a nice, clean set of four downs to work with. As we work into, we are in Notre Dame territory. We got a first and ten at the 34. Let's go off tackle with Hayden. And he's going to get some good yards, man. If we can, even if we kick a field goal here, I think we probably just about put the game away um, because then we're up by 14. Um, let's go look in pass to Stover. And, oh, it's incomplete. A rare, again, a rare incompletion from C.J. Stroud. And he is on the day 15 of 20 for 185 yards, a touchdown, and an interception. And we have a third and five. So third and five, let's go look in pass to Egbuka. And he catches it for a first down. We're just uh, moving at will here. It's crazy. It's crazy good. Again, I hate Notre Dame, so I would really be mad if we lost this game. Uh, we've got a um, first and 10 at the Notre Dame 18. They got the pro set out there. Let's go line buck with Rossi. He doesn't run the ball very much. Not very good either, but he gets a yard or two. He gets two yards, so hey. Uh, second and eight. Second and eight, I'm going to try to score here. Let's do a short to Harrison. We don't need another interception, Stroud. We really don't need that. And he incompletes it. He just didn't hit anyone. All right. Well, you know what? We've got a third and eight. Williams is in. I'm going to go off. I'm going to go line buck with Williams. Just make this a sure field goal at least, and maybe a first down, but he doesn't get the first down. But we got to, I would say it's got to be a sure field goal from there. So we are going to kick the field goal. 
Fourth and four, and he misses it. Are you kidding me? How do you miss that? 337 left in the third quarter. We move the ball all the way down the field almost. All right. Um, I'm going to look for the pass here. Although he does really have a lot of time. He's got enough time. We stop him after a three or four yard gain. Five yards. Yeah. I'm going to look for the run again. And he does run this time. And we were right, but he got enough yard. He got like seven yards on that, and he did. Uh, I'm going to look for the run. Again, he's within a touchdown and a two-point conversion of tying this game. So we do have to be wary here. But time is running out in the third quarter. There is a minute 52 left in the third. I'm going to look for the pass. And he runs it. He really doesn't seem to have much faith in his quarterback. Um, all right, we're going to run. We're going to look for the run. And he does run the ball. Uh, as unready for that as we were. He gets five yards out of it. They got a second and five. I am going to look for the run. And he runs it up the middle, but we do stop him before the first down. He gets three of the five yards that he needed right there. I got to I gotta believe he's going to run the ball. And he does, and we do stop him. So now what is he going to do? Is he going to punt? He can because we're still in the third quarter or just entered the fourth maybe. Yeah, we're just entering the fourth, but he's going to go for it. Fourth and three. I am going to, I God, I'm going to put in the balanced, the balanced defense. It doesn't work well, and it didn't. But now it's just about making him eat the clock and hopefully make him settle for a field goal, if anything. Uh, for, he's got a first and 10 at our 42. I'm going to look for the run. And uh, he caught it after about a five-yard gain. No, just a two-yard gain. Nice. I am going to look for the run. It seems like that's mainly what he's good at. He can't really pass very well or he's not confident enough. But he does pass there and it's completed. He gets a 28-yard gain there. So now it's getting questionable if we can even stop a touchdown. But I'm going to put in the run. He does run. We aren't going to stop him. Gets like three yards. Six yards. He gets six yards on that. My God. Second and four. I am going to run and key on digs. And now, yeah, that was a key. That was a key that we keyed on digs because he took the ball and he lost two yards. So now third and six, I'm looking for the pass. And I wonder if he's going to go for it if we stop him. But let's try to stop him first. And we're going to sack him. So what is he going to do? Are you going to kick the field goal? You still got a lot of time. You can kick the field goal. Trust me, you can kick the field goal. And he is. He's going to try to kick the field goal. Let's put in the kick block. The old kick block. And it doesn't work, and he does get a field goal. So he makes it 21-16. So now he is definitely a touchdown and he can win the game if we don't score. But there's 11-16 left. Yeah, we need something and we need, really, we need a touchdown. I am going to try to run with the ball. We need a touchdown. I mean big. We're out to the 34, so that's a nice starting position. We've got a first and 10 at our 34. Let's go. Let's throw the bomb to Harrison Jr. again. And 
And that's not going to be complete. He misses him on that. Let's try the short pass to Egbuka. And that's going to be incomplete. Well, now we've got to go short pass. We didn't even eat up a lot of time, so we've got to get a, sh a first down here. Short to Harrison. And it's incomplete. Are you kidding me? I almost want to go for it. But, I, but we're not. Don't worry, we're not going to do that. But, um, yeah, this is not good. We need, to, we need a mistake by Notre Dame. Because my, certainly my play calling has been a mistake. Ooh, we, well, we made him lose yards on the return, which is good. 45-yard kick and a negative 7-yard return. So let's look for the run. Passing, he's not very good at passing, so... With 9.56 left, I mean, he's got time. He doesn't really have to do this. Let's look for the run again. And uh, we get him, but he gets like eight yards on that. So they got a second and two. I'm going to look for the run and key on digs. No, he's passing. Oh boy. Now the only good thing is that he, a field goal still isn't going to help him. He needs a touchdown, but uh, I, I'm going to look for a run on this first down here. Uh, he does run the ball, but yeah. Estime, yeah, took the ball. He got three yards. Um, second and seven. Now I'm going to look for the pass. And he runs it. And we didn't stop him at all. He got the first down and a lot more. 15-yard gain on that. I'm going to look for the run. And that's incomplete, I think. Second and ten. This is he always runs. I'm gonna run and key. No, no. You know what? He's not gonna do it. I don't think he'll do it with Estime. So we're gonna look for the pass. Oh, he does it. He does run with Estime, and we get him in the backfield. Minus a yard. Well, we're definitely looking for the pass here. And it's going to be complete for a first down. Come on. He had a third and 11 and we couldn't stop him. We're going to look for the run. And he does run and he gets a couple of yards, a yard or two. One yard. He's at our 20. Again, he needs a touchdown. We're going to look for the run. He does run, and we do stop him prior to the first down. He gets five yards, but now he's got a third and four. I think he's going to play four down territory here. We're going to look for the run. And he does run, and we do stop him. And I don't think he's kicking the field goal. Fourth and three, he is not. And we're going to look for the pass. Oh, he runs the ball. Are you kidding? Oh. All right, we've got to have something then. Oh, he's going to try for the two-point conversion. 
and he gets it. So he's got a 23-21 lead. Or 24, 24-21. Yeah, so that a field goal would only time. I'm going to try to run with the ball. Well, that was a good gain. We got a good gain. But we need a touchdown. I'm going to try a short pass to the flanker. Certainly he can't continually stop my short passing game. Well, if he keeps trying to throw to the uh, sidelines, he can. Let's go line buck with Williams. Line buck with Williams! That was a good play. We've got a first and 10 at the 43. I'm going to go off tackle with Williams. And he gets some good yards. Second and five. I am still not going to call a timeout. I'm going to go look in pass to the tight end Stover. And did he catch it? Yes, he did for six yards and a first down. Good. Um, yeah, I'm going to call a timeout. Uh, up by three, we've got a first and ten at the Notre Dame 32. I'm going to go line buck with Williams. Okay, I'm going to call my second timeout. We've got a second and two. And uh, I'm going to go short to Harrison Jr. Oh, we're off sides. Damn it, we didn't need that. Second and seven at the 29. I'm going to go short. Still to Harrison. And he's going to get the first down and get out of bounds, maybe? We've got a first and ten at the Notre Dame 17. And I'm going to go short to Egbuke. And he's going to be a touchdown machine. And we got the touchdown we needed. Now, if I just kick an extra point, it's going to be 24. It's 24-27. I'm ahead by... I'm ahead by three right now. So I am going to... I'm going to put in the pro set. And I'm going to go off tackle with Williams and try to get the two-point conversion. And he gets the two-point conversion! So now he needs a touchdown. So we're, yeah, we're ahead 29, 24. I guess I didn't need that, but anyway, we got it. Because, I, I mean, it couldn't hurt, because that means we definitely had it where he had to have a touchdown. Minute seven left. Minute 
minute seven left and I'm up by five. So we're going to put in the pass. And he catches it. Maybe we left him with too much time. I hope we didn't. He got 13 yards on that. We're going to put in a pass. And he that's going to be a short gain. And he's going to try to get out of bounds, and he didn't. Good. Gets a second and six now at the Notre Dame 47. 52 seconds left. Going to put in the pass defense. And I don't think we got him before he got out of bounds. But the clock is really working against him here. Going to put in the pass. There is 37 seconds left in the game. And we can't seem to get to him. Are we going to intercept it? Thank you. I'm going to, you know, I'm just going to keep the ball. I'm not stupid. I'm not completely stupid. So anyway, yeah, we're just going to keep the ball, and then we're going to run the ball, and we're going to get out of here with a win. First and 10 at our 10. I'm going to go line buck with Rossi. And we have a second and 11 at our own nine with 22 seconds left. Um, I'm going to go line buck with Williams. And off he goes. And he got us out of the shadow of our own end zone. Which is also good because that means they can't do a scoop and score or uh, recover the fumble and be right there. Um, and that's it. Game over. And so let's look at the statistics for this game. We'll move this over here again. So you can see everything. Uh, Drew Pine for uh, Notre Dame was 17 of 24, 193 yards and an interception. Stroud for us was 19 of 29, 231 yards, two touchdowns and an interception. And I'm going to let you just look at the rest of the stats here. We'll, we'll page through them a little bit and let you take a look at what everybody did. Um... Williams, big day for Williams. 14 rushes, 156 yards. And a two-point conversion. There's the receiving stats for everyone. Harrison Jr., six receptions for 107 yards. There's the kicking in the field goal unit. And uh, we come away with a win, and that's going to be it for me, Sportsman Z, Bob Zolke, signing off.